I think for my workouts, these are probably my favorite. What if I had left a second sooner? That would have hit me on top of the head. It was like final destination stuff. Ooh, I love this lighting. It's just my night light. I'm a dim light person. Good morning, by the way. Today's Monday, and I was gonna vlog yesterday on Sunday, but I just felt so off. Normally on Saturdays and Sundays, I'm like, go, 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 clean, organize, do this, do that, but I was just so tired. I even started vlogging yesterday, and I was like, I just don't feel like myself, um, so I just stayed on the couch and like relaxed, which was so nice, so. Woke up feeling a lot more energized this morning. I had my coffee, took Stella down, so we're doing a lot better this morning. Um, <laughs> Before I do my workout, I partnered up with Spanx um, to show you guys some activewear that I got. Um, Spanx is obviously more than just shapewear, it's activewear, and I was so impressed. I did a little try on yesterday, but I'm gonna try it on for you guys. I've got a few sets that I wanna show you. And um, yeah, I'm really excited because like found my new favorite pair of black <laughs> workout pants, <laughs> workout leggings. All right, so I'll start with this first pair and these are called the Booty Boost leggings. They definitely give you a nice curve back here and these are just really sleek and they're actually so thin. Like I feel like they're, I don't know, like attached to my skin. So I think these would be great when you're doing like squats, lunges, maybe something a little bit more high intensity because they really move with you. Um, but you could also like style them with a sweatshirt or something. They're just really comfortable. Normally with me, I have a problem with leggings bunching in the crotch area with them bunching at the ankle. And then I also get this really weird like gap right here. And these fit me nice and snug without being super tight, so. These are definitely, I think for my workouts, these are probably my favorite because I do um, a lot of squats, lunges, things that are just a little bit more high intensity. So I think these are actually really perfect. Of course I got the booty boost <laughs> biker shorts, but uh, yeah, these are pretty much the same thing, just a biker short. Um, I love wearing these with like an oversized sweatshirt, sneakers when I'm running errands, but also when I'm working out and it's a little bit warmer, in the apartment and they don't squeeze your leg right here like most of my biker shorts like my workout biker shorts really squeeze my thigh to where i have a line when i'm done working out but these are actually really really comfortable all right these are called the everywhere legging they have technology that targets your tummy and they really are very sleek and fitted to my body as well i would I would prefer if I were running errands, probably going with these. These move really nicely with you as well. Here is the back of these. All right, this is my favorite set out of all of them. This is the seamless legging and the seamless top. Um, these are definitely thicker than the other two, which is what I like. And I love that they're seamless because it just makes them so much more comfortable. I feel like I would be comfortable doing yoga in these. I would be comfortable doing Pilates or high intensity or lifting. Um, and the, the back is very, very high waist. So that is what I love about these. I love a really high waist, something that like fits you really snug up on your back. I mean, you could even throw in a little sweater and some ankle boots and feel super comfortable. And then this is the medium impact sports bra. And this is really pretty. It's got mesh detail here and mesh detailing in the back. Um, again, I love just like a solid black set, so I think this is a great option with these pants. Um, if you don't want to do more of a top, if you want to do more of a sports bra, it's really supportive too. So I feel like when I'm doing my warm up, jumping jacks or something, I'm not flying all over the place. And this is the Bra Lalouia bra, and I also have it in black, but it's a little easier for me to show you the details when it's laying down. So it has these really thick straps that are so stretchy and comfortable. Um, and then the back is actually made out of the same material. I love this material though. You don't get that annoying bulge on the side when you're wearing a tight t-shirt or a dress. Love how much coverage this bra gives as well. All right, this is the undetectable lightly lined bra in ballet. And it is one of those really comfy bras, but it's also kind of sexy at the same time. You know, like our, our old like basic bras are so nice and so comfortable, but it's nice to have something with a little lace, um, you know, like a little pink color. <laughs> 
And then these are the undies that match the bra that I was just wearing. And they are high waist, they're lace. I think these underwear are great for if you're wearing a tighter dress, um, but you don't wanna wear a thong and you want a little bit of control up top. I think these are perfect. And then I got two of the understatement thongs, um, one in nude and one in black. They are so thin and no seam up top, so you don't see them through your dress. And they're also just really comfortable. It's like one of those pairs that you just don't even feel like you're wearing anything. All right, but I'm gonna go do my workout now, and I'm probably gonna keep on, definitely gonna keep on the seamless set. You'll be seeing me wearing this set a lot because I think it's just like the most perfect set. <laughs> for everything. Um, but Spanx is giving you guys a 10% off. Um, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna link everything below, but the code is AshleyXSpanx, and I'll link everything below. They come in sizes from extra small to 3X, um, so I'll put everything down there. Yeah, but I'm gonna go do my workout, and I will see you in a little bit. Running to, hold on, uh, running to City MD because I'm gonna get the antibodies test. Um, you know, a few, I guess four weeks ago, I had what I thought was a really bad sinus infection, even though I'd never had a sinus infection before. Um, I didn't have any coughing, no fever really. I had a little fever for like, 20 minutes uh, so there wasn't really anything to worry about but I saw in the news they said that people were now reporting sinus infection like symptoms and being and tested positive for COVID and our governor was on this morning and said if you tested positive or if you think you had it please go get the antibodies test they really need people to donate plasma um, and just for the numbers in general so that's what I'm on my way to go do now. It takes three or four days to get the test results in. Um, so we'll see, but the city MD is pretty close to my apartment. So I'm just gonna run over really quick. I don't know if there's gonna be a wait, but I won't see you until I get back home because I don't wanna, after I leave the doctor's office, I don't wanna touch my camera or my phone or anything like that. So I'll see you when I get home. So I got home and I immediately took all my clothes off, showered, and now I'm on here. Put my clothes in the washing machine already. Sorry, it's my beauty blend. I'll tell you about the antibodies testing. So I got there and obviously I wore my mask. I also wore gloves, which everyone in there also did but oh my gosh wait I have, to, I have to tell you what happened to me on my way to the med clinic so I was walking down the sidewalk and this girl was probably like I don't know eight feet in front of me all of a sudden someone dropped a lighter from their balcony and it landed right literally this far in front of me I jumped back and I screamed a little bit because it scared me so bad. It was so loud and it like broke into a thousand pieces. And it was one of those moments where I was thinking, what if I had left a second sooner? That would have hit me on top of the head. It was like final destination stuff. It's really weird and scary. And, that, and the other girl was like, what in the world? Also, both of our lives flashed before our eyes. So I got to the med clinic and 
I just like checked in like normal. It's the one I usually go to, so all my stuff was like already saved. I've been there like many times. It wasn't a wait or anything. I got in probably 10 minutes after I checked in. Talking to the doctor and I told her that I wasn't even sure if I should be there. I was like, I, you know, if I hadn't had it, then I came all the way here for nothing and what if I infect myself and then I get other people sick just from coming to do this? And she said, no, it's better that you do it and know than to not know. She said, as long as you're protected with gloves and a mask, which you are, wash your hands and clothes when you get home, she said, you'll be fine. So that eased my worries a little bit because I was thinking like, oh, should I even be doing this? Is it more of a risk than even just knowing, but you know, since I'm wanting to know for a reason whether I should give plasma or not, then I feel like it's it's fine. I was under the impression that they were just gonna finger prick. And then she pulls out this giant needle and this vial and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, I had to give a whole vial of blood. And she said, we'll know the results in like one to three days. I've been waiting for the day that I could be your girl for much too long. After my shower, I put on the Spanx Booty Boost <laughs> leggings. Um, I'm so sad that I wore my seamless ones this morning to work out and then to the clinic. <laughs> so now I just put these on. These are also very comfortable though. Um, and then I just put this little bra top on and this cardigan. It's a little chilly. And I just set up my spot on the floor and I'm gonna go work a little bit and then I wanted to make some oat milk uh, this weekend, but I didn't, so I was thinking we could do that and um, do it together because this is my first time, so we'll see how, if this is a good tutorial. What do you say? You want to make some oat milk? Does that sound good? Yes? Did you take a night-night? <laughs> she knows that word. At night, when it's time to go to bed, we say, let's go to the big bed and go night-night. Go night-night? She's like, Mom, it's daylight. We don't go night-night at daylight. Everything inside out. Listen to your heartbeat. I'm waking to the sound. We got second chances to make the most of it. Stella and I have been working in our spot for the past couple of hours. Now it's time to make my second coffee. My little routine. <laughs> I feel like this is last vlog all over again, which by the way, last vlog took me so long to edit, I didn't realize how much I was talking throughout that whole entire thing. I have a project. So I got a backdrop for my videos and I need the ladder to hang it. I'm gonna actually show you where we keep the big ladder because some of you thought we kept it in the apartment and we definitely don't. Come out in the hall. We keep the ladder in the stairwell. So I'm gonna grab it. Got that? So, for my backdrop, I got another set of curtains. You're super dark, dude. I tanned last night. Oh. Two more sets of these curtains from CB2. Sorry, two curtains, one set. Because I thought, when we do move one day, wherever we go, we'll have an extra set of curtains in case we have another window, so. Good, good investment in my opinion, but I'm gonna hang them right here. Not hang them, but I'm gonna set up the nails so when I am ready to film, I can just pop up there, hang them up, and then film. The reason I'm doing this is because when I film style videos, I, mm, I notice that the light reflects off of the brick because it's dark, and I just feel like you can see the outfit better, it's less distracting and not so blending in 
to the wall. So I think a backdrop is kind of necessary, so I <laughs> got curtains. This could totally backfire. We'll do a test and see. Here is one. Obviously you'll just be able to see this. So you won't be able to see that up there. So then I have another one. So I'm gonna make three more nails for this one. I bet the mirror's gonna get in the way, but that's fine. starts opening up a little bit up top but I could probably just safety pin it closed right here and it would look fine so maybe I can also like pin this here whenever I'm shooting I just think it'll be much easier to see outfits overall alternate to just see what works get feedback from you guys and figure it out okay I'm gonna take those down leave the nails up the ladder away or have Ryan put the ladder away. We got the new thing, oh, I was trying to get the blue ladder out of the shot. And there it is. Um, what, something else I was going to do yesterday was to send out my save the dates. And one thing I have learned is that stamps are expensive. Everybody is getting the American flag stamp because they're the least expensive. The f pretty floral stamps I wanted were like a dollar or something. And I was thinking, I have to buy them for the save the dates and for the invites. <laughs> Didn't I show you, I can't remember if I showed you our invitation process or not, but I found this company called Shine on Pinterest actually, and I just stopped looking. They were exactly what I wanted and the whole process is so easy. Let them know what you want, what you like, and they send you this whole pack of basically like samples. So they send you ribbon samples. Um, they just basically send you like whole packs of what the liners look like. I mean, just really super easy to look through. And um, they sent over the different paper options. So there's different weights of paper. So th this was step number one, which was super help helpful in helping us narrow down exactly what we wanted. Um, they send you the envelope liners with a stamp on it and it was just really, really nice. So, and then here's like basically what would go into your actual invitation. So accommodations, the RSVP card, reception um, information, and then your little return address here. Um, and then all of that would go in here. So then after you decide you're set up with a designer and our designer was Jolene and she was so sweet and so easy to work with and she basically helps you with the fonts you want the colors you want um, basically down to just like the envelope jackets and just pretty much making it the exact like how exactly you want it so after you're done with her you finalize everything and then they send it to you and we got our save the dates in, so I'm about to stamp them and send them out. So we got, it comes with all of your envelopes, all of your save the dates. So that is nice. We just kept ours super simple. I was really debating on putting our wedding website on the save the date, but with COVID, I just wasn't sure. I just wasn't sure of a lot of things, so I didn't. And I kind of regret it now, but I'll put it on the invitations, which aren't gonna go out too long from now, but this is the save the date that we chose. It's just super simple and classic, and I just think this was our favorite, so on the thicker paper as well. So what I'm gonna do now is go through and stamp these, and then hopefully we can get them out <clears throat> when we go take Stella on her walk tonight. I think I'm a little behind on the save the date. With, you know, with everything that was going on, we just weren't sure if we were gonna even have our wedding date. So we were like, do we send out a save the date if there's no date to save?
Oh my gosh, it's been such an eventful evening. Oof. I, well, first of all, it's dark time. It's night. I got lost in my um, computer. I had one of those moments where you sit down just to do a couple of things and then three hours later you look up and you're like, what, <laughs> where am I? That was me. And then we made dinner and then we FaceTimed Ryan's sisters and Ryan's sister and his nieces and they opened up their bridesmaid proposal boxes on FaceTime. So we got to chat with them and watch that. They were so excited. And then Sam, Ta everyone else got their bridesmaid boxes at the same time in the mail. So I've just been talking with them about it and we're all so excited and yeah, it's been, it's been really fun. Stella is bent out of shape because she didn't get a bridesmaid proposal box. Stills, there's not even gonna be doggies allowed at the wedding. Oh, she looks so sad. Why do you look so sad? But I'm gonna go and, uh, oh, I'm gonna go shower and get in bed. It's 9.20, it's past my bedtime. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I just realized we forgot to make oat milk. Okay, in the next vlog, we're gonna make oat milk. And I'll either have perfected the recipe or we can do it together. Maybe if you want to, you can order your oat milk bags and we can do it together for the first time. I'll link on below so you can see it anyways. Okay, all right, I will see you later.